Hello Collective, Elsie here to do a reading for you. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you. Just thought I'd come by and drop a collective reading. I just dropped one for the singles and now I'm just here to just drop uh, one for all of the signs here. So this is an all sign reading. And what does that mean? It means that it is not for your energy. It's for all the signs. Anybody who clicks here, this could potentially be a reading that might resonate for you. Thank you for stopping by and clicking here. And if you are the person who's just always clicking and watching anyway, I hope that you will subscribe. It does make a difference in how this channel is um is uh, growing so if you want to be part of the growth here i hope that if you like this content that you will subscribe so let's talk about you let's talk about um the collective energies tell me about the collective energies what's coming up in the collective please i do not date or time these readings when you find it you will if you hit that uh, bell button you will know when i'm uploading all right we start out with the knight of wands why is that All right, we're throwing things around, y'all. All right. We have a Seven of Cups. Mm. Someone has a decision to make. Knight of Wands in the upright, Seven of Cups in the upright. Gosh, I just cannot shuffle today. I'm dropping everything everywhere. <laughs> All right, tell me more. It's like I got nervous as soon as the Knight of Wands showed up. <laughs> we got the King of Wands. Oh, interesting. Somebody's making a decision here between the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Look, the Knight of Wands is pretty exciting, right? Depending on where you are in your part of life right now, you may be interested in the Knight of Wands. This is a person who probably makes you feel the most desirable that you've ever felt. But unfortunately, this person is, is someone who will show you desire and fun and, and all of that. But they're just not ready to settle down. The king is probably the one who's more ready to settle. And although a real go-getter, this is a mature knight. It feels like somebody's going to have to make a decision between two. We've got the empress. Yeah, we're looking at a knight and an empress. Look, the knight is not a fool. The knight knows what they're fighting for. We have the five of swords. And we have the nine of wands. I feel like there's a beef with the king of wands. <laughs> Okay, maybe not a beef, but you know what I mean? It's uh, I feel like there is some sort of energy with the King of Wands that needs to be cleared up or burdens that need to be dropped. Nine and one is ten. The King carries a wand, right? So this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got, um, we've got uh, Venusian energy here, which is the Empress, who is the balance of love, right? And this is Taurus and Libra energy. Um, I feel like there is a decision and it's going to be a hard one. Because I think that the Knight of Wands has has a lot to offer as well. Look, the Knight of Wands is adorable. The Knight of Wands is probably makes you feel more desired than any other person ever has, feminine or masculine. And I think that the Empress knows that, is very attracted to that energy, loves the the um, the whirlwind sort of energy, but also understands that the Knight of Wands is not the one who's interested in settling down got the seven of cups here and to me it's you know what I want to say it's an illusion that you're having a hard time making a decision I, I want to say that you will get this energy from the, the knight of wands you will get that energy from the king of wands but in a grown-up sort of way the king of wands is someone who's responsible for a kingdom right so this is the person who's running a kingdom and this person is someone who still follows the passions of their heart who's who can be a little bit, you know, risky, but they're not going to risk the whole kingdom. This person is someone who's very strong and they've learned to hold back their passions. They've learned to corral the passions. They know that they have them, but they've learned to they've learned to be they've learned to be responsible with their passions. And I feel as though I think it's going to be a hard a hard decision because I think both of them are beautiful. I think they're easy to look at, easy on the eyes. Um, dropping more cards. Hold on. 
I think that both both of these people are easy on the eyes, but I think the King of Wands is the only one who will consider settling down. Okay, I just want to put one card here. All right, the star. All right, so there's something that is hopeful, healing possibly. There's hope in the distance. Tell me about the Knight of Wands, please. What does the collective need to know about the Knight of Wands? If you're someone who's single, the Knight of Wands also showed up in the singles read. We've got Temperance. We've got the Three of Wands. You're waiting for this person to change. You're waiting for them to give you balance. You're waiting for them to heal. I think you've been waiting, but I don't think you're going to wait much longer. We do have the, the three wands here, and as I see this depiction, there is one wand that's burning to the ground, and I feel like you're just waiting for the wave, and you're about to go out and expand your life. You're about to go out on an adventure, and um, I feel that you've been waiting for this Knight of Wands to heal, or you've been waiting for them to bring more balance or bring things into balance, but I, I'm, honestly, I think that you're waiting in vain. I think that you are going to be um, taking the Two of Wands energy. I feel like you are going to go out on some sort of adventure. I think you see the Knight of Wands as someone who would be good on an adventure. To me, when I look at the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is like the, the van life guy <laughs> or the van life girl. It's somebody who is like, you know, um, is, is life is always exciting and on the edge and we're just going to take risks and we're just going to throw caution to the wind. But I think what you want is four wands because we've got three and one is four the the fourth one in the hand of the knight i think that you all things if all things worked out the way you wanted them to i think that you would well, you would want to be with the knight of wands but this person is not giving any stability and you want a stable situation with four wands showing up here yeah and i think at times you go back and forth honestly I think that I think that this is here because I think at times you go back and forth. Can I live without the balance? Can I live with somebody who is who's going to be who doesn't really want to get married or engaged or settle down? Someone who maybe wants to live van life or live in a, a mobile home. I mean, they're not always gonna do that, but there's no stability is what I'm saying. This person's not interested in getting into Groundhog Day. They're not interested in getting into a relationship that will be the same thing over and over because they require spark. They require that first kiss feeling all of the time. And so I think that you go back and forth. You know, but what if this person healed? But no, this is what I want. I want the four wands. I don't want just the three. I want three and one is four. I want the four wands. If this person can't settle down, then they can't be with me. And I think that you, you think about it constantly. Tell me about the Seven Cups, please. What do you need to know about the Seven Cups for the collective, please? I think it's a hard pick, I want to say. The illusion is it's a hard pick. I really don't think that there's much competition between the King and the, and the Knight. I'm just saying. Page of Cups. I feel that you have feelings for both of these people and you're trying to make a pick. Um, the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups, that's eight cups all together. And it feels like you're going to have to pull away emotionally from one of these people. I want to say that the Knight of Wands is coming in with an apology. <laughs> I feel the Knight of Wands is going to be, look, I'm sorry I haven't been around, but, you know, dot, 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 whatever. I've been busy. I've been working. I've been, I've been, you know what I mean? We've got uh, the Page of Pentacles. What you want is you want the stability, right? You want um, something is that's going to begin and give you at least a little bit of stability at the beginning. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, it feels like you just need you need to to look at it from a healed point of view, my friend. Which way is going to be best for you? Because the Four of Swords is about healing, and the Swords are about the mind. So it feels like you're trying to take care of yourself. Maybe you're not talking to either one of these people. Right now, not much because the Four of Swords is like spotty to no communication. Um, but I feel like you know that you're going to have to decide between them. But I think you have feelings for both of them because the Page of Cups is here. Tell me about this King of Wands, please.
we've got the judgment in the reverse. I don't think there's any reconciliation with this king. Got the Ten of Wands. And the Two of Swords. Wow. That's some really stuck energy. For sure. You might not choose either one. I'm just saying. You might just decide to go on your own. Um, the the Two of Swords is like, you know, I don't want to get my heart hurt again. I don't want to allow this person to break my heart. I feel like there's a beef with the King of, of Wands. I feel like this person is someone that you that you know has broken your heart before. You want to drop your burdens with them. And that could be like the reconciliation, like the, the judgment in the reverse to me is like someone misjudged you. No reconciliation. It feels like that you... It feels like what you want to do is you want to drop your burdens with the King of Wands that I don't think you want to reconcile. You might reconcile the fact that they that you know we need to drop our burdens. Maybe we're going to have a conversation about that, but we have the the judgment in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. There it is. I called it out, right? The nine and the one is ten. So I want to I want to say that there's no reconciliation because there's been too many burdens that have been collected with this this King of Wands. You might not pick either one. I'm just saying. The Two of Swords is, I don't want to get my heart broken again. But maybe you just don't see that the King of Wands is coming in to try and drop these burdens with you because they've misjudged you. It feels like, yeah, it feels like they did misjudge you. What was the misjudgment here? It was a poor call on the, ah, they didn't realize that you are the Hierophant. So we have Sagittarius energy here, by the way. Uh, we also have uh, Taurus energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, th this person didn't know that you're the Hierophant. They misjudged you. They didn't realize you're the spiritual teacher. You're on your own path. You have your own traditions. You will move forward in a slow, sturdy way all by yourself. You're a teacher. You have lots of knowledge. You're very enlightened. And it's like they misjudged you. I don't think you're giving them a chance. Honestly, I don't. I feel like they hope you are, but I don't think that... I think they're coming in and asking you for some sort of a commitment here. And I feel like you just don't want to get your heart broken again. You need to drop the burdens with the king so you're glad that the king is arriving. So you can talk about that. But I don't know that you're giving this king another chance. Tell me about the empress. That. So what, time number four? I've dropped four cards on the floor now. There we go. <laughs> the King of Swords. Sorry, the Ten of Swords. And so I think you're over it. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I think you are over it. I really do believe that you're done being hurt, is what I want to say. You're done with people sh shiving you when you're not looking, right? Yeah. They're, you're tired of people stabbing you in the back. You're tired of people you know, uh, coming to you with, with this fire energy and saying, you're so desirable, I really want you. And, you know, although the king has learned their lesson, I feel, of misjudging you, I feel like the king is the one who's probably more in control of their passions than the knight of wands and giving a little more stability. But I feel like you're just turning your back on them and saying, look, you had your chance and you stuck me in the back. Eight of Swords, it took you a long time to heal from this. It did. So whether you're the Empress or not, whether you're the King of Wands, take it as, a, as it resonates here. Feminines and Masculines, we are not reading body parts. Yeah, you started working on yourself. And I can tell because you're the Empress, right? So you start working on yourself. <coughs> you turn it inward. You decide that you're just going to work hard on self-mastery, that... Um, that the, the Knight of Wands, I think, leaves you dry. The King of Wands misjudges you. And I think you're, you're over all of it, to be honest. I think you're over all of it. You're over these harsh endings, hard endings. And the thing is this. The beautiful thing about it, if there is anything beautiful about the Ten Swords, is that the ending is what made you grow. It was supposed to happen that way, my friend. It was supposed to, it was all designed to make you grow, to make you learn what was going on here, to make you see it clearly. I feel like you felt deceived by both of these people. And that's why it's a hard decision. Like there, I feel like retrograde is bringing a bunch of people toward you, at least two, for sure. 
And so I think that um, this that when it ended here, when you had this tough ending with the with the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands here, two separate people, I think that you ended up up in your head here. I feel like you were in a mental prison, an obsessive mental prison for a long time, questioning your worth. But the truth is, is you've always had this worth and now you know you have the worth and you're the spiritual teacher. You're the enlightened one. And you're like, you know what? If you guys couldn't see my worth, then maybe I just don't need it. Maybe I'll just keep working on myself. Tell me about the Five of Swords. There might be some sort of an argument that breaks out here. Sharp words being said. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Yeah, you haven't changed. I think that's what you're saying. You haven't changed a bit. Nope. And uh, it's a different deck that I used in the singles read, but the death card came out in the reversed as well. It's like somebody is coming back around here, and uh, it's the boomerang card, right? The Eight of Cups is in the reverse, and with me, somebody walked away. Um, and whether it's the king or the or the knight, I feel like somebody walked away here, and um, they've, they haven't changed. They haven't changed. It feels like they're still not willing to commit. They're still not willing to go on the adventure with you. I feel like they're, they almost feel like it would be a bit of a sacrifice. I'll just bite the bullet to be with the Empress. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just kind of, it feels like charity. Do you know what I mean? And you don't need that. You don't need that because you're a whole ass Empress. That's why you don't need that. Because you love yourself enough to tell both of them to go kick rocks. So I feel like that there's been no changes here. That they walked away. Um, each person in their own right. I feel like that they're, after they walked away, there was no changes that were made here. And I feel like you've got the walls up. You're like, no thanks. You've hurt me enough. I allow you to hurt me enough. And I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm not going to give you another chance to hurt me. So I think you're reconciling with the king. But I think you're telling the knight to kick rocks. And I don't think this is a love reconciliation. I feel like we're going to put down our burdens together. And we're going to say, let's be friends. I'll see you around. Whatever it is, it doesn't feel like this is a love reconciliation. Yeah, there's nothing growing here, my friend. You can give them reciprocity, which I feel that you would give to any friendship. Um, but I feel like you don't trust them. You think that they're giving their energy to other people as well. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords. I think you're just going to be completely honest with them. I think you're going to be completely honest and forcefully direct, honestly. You're just going to say, look, I'll give you reciprocity. We could be friends. We can know each other in the pentacle world, but there's nothing to grow here. Nothing is growing here. Now, the sun is always the sun. It's comfortable. It's warm. It's uh, a place of... Um, When the sun's in the reverse for me, it's a place that um, where you're happy because the sun is always going to be happiness. But to me, there's no growth. And I think that what you realize now is there's no growth. There never was going to be any growth with the king. And if this person has to come back after they finally realize your worth and look now, now you're the empress and they're the king. So you're like, no, nah, bro, I'm waiting for an emperor. That's what I'm worth. I'm not waiting for no king. I'm waiting for the emperor. So I feel like you do give this person reciprocity, but you're painfully honest with them in letting them know that um, you're not really interested in, um, in them because you now have a higher knowledge, right? You have a higher opinion of yourself. You have a higher knowledge here. Why is the star here, please? We've got Aquarius energy. Taurus is here. Leo. Scorpio. Tell me about the star, please. You're just carrying on your merry way. That's what I think. Yeah, you're going out there to find love. I don't think you're going out physically looking for it, but I feel like you know already from your connection with the universe, the star is that, right? You can see that it's a, it's a connection with the universe. It's a, it's a healing. It's a, a hope. It's hopeful energy that you're getting from the universe that whatever is meant for you won't pass you by. I feel like there is somebody who is coming in here who will be a love interest. This person is someone who you probably have an age gap with. You've been waiting for this for a long time. It's like it's taken years that you've been single waiting for the right person to come along. Who is this person? They could be a Pisces. And I think you have a knowing. 
that this is coming. The universe has already told you you have a knowing. There's no need to be sa sad. Just keep the higher ground, my friend. Stay in the higher ground. And I think that's, I feel like you're, you're, you are um, seeing through the mystery. I think you're seeing through the silence and you know the universe is, is leaving you with this hope that, you know, yours is coming. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you've been waiting for a long time for real love. Someone to bring you a cup and I think you're going to get it. I feel like the person that you'll get it with is someone who might be a younger Pisces possibly or any of the other signs that I mentioned. But I feel like what you're doing is although it makes you sad, you're taking the higher ground and bravo to you. I love that. Inner strength. That's what it is. It's absolutely inner strength because you know what you are. You know your worth. You don't have to deal with with people coming in giving you scraps. That's not what the Empress does. Nope. The Empress waits patiently for the Emperor to approach. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I appreciate you. If this is anything that makes sense to you, because for me, it's like coming in like a 20 chapter book on chapter eight. Like I really don't, I really don't know what's going on, right? So tell me if it's your story in the in the uh, comments. And I, I like to be in the comments, so I hope you do too. Thank you for your thumbs up. Love you. See you later. Bye.